it's our greetings everyone it's still mr Tachai here and we are still examining our november uh this is going to be still our november 2022 uh, paper right this is 2022 paper from Gauteng. right this is going to be the part two of the video because the first one covered the shape and now we are looking at the words problem right now let's see in terms of what is going to be this particular thing now they say a metal ball has a what a radius of eight millimeters right now so basically that's what they are telling us they are saying now a metal what a metal ball consists of what uh, the area so if this basically this is our ball hey this is the shape of my ball let me try and get another nicer you know another nicer shape there before you guys accuse me so let's see so now if this is the shape of our ball right so now what else now are we then going to have, right? So if this is the shape of our ball, they say now it consists of what? They say it consists of uh, the radius of what? Of eight, this is same as our eight, what? Millimeters, right? Now, what is it that they want us to do? They want us to firstly calculate the volume of the metal ball used, uh, what? Calculate the volume of metal used, to make this ball remember they say this ball is made up of metal so they want us to calculate what the volume of it now so the volume obviously we know that the volume for our ball is given by what and uh, remember uh, this particular ball of ours is in 3d shape right so and since it's in 3d shape it's going to look more of your spherical like right remember my drawing here is 2d shape so this is going to look uh 3d shape like i mean are we to get so now which means the volume that we are going to have the volume is going to be same as what uh the volume is going to be given by 4 over 3 pi r cubed isn't it so right and now remember the volume can also be represented uh, or rather be called in the circumference right and now from here uh this is same as now 4 over what 4 over 3 multiplied by what uh multiplied by pi and this is multiplied by what? This is multiplied by 8, right? This is going to be 8 what? This is going to be 8 cubed, isn't it so? And now when you plug this into your calculator and see what are you going to have, the final answer that you're going to get, this is going to be 2,144.62, right? Meter, right? Or what? Uh, uh, millimeters, right? So this is going to millimeters what? Uh, cubed. Are we together? This is going to be same as millimeters what? Cubed. Right, so basically, that is going to be the answer that we are having. Right, uh, let's confirm that. Remember, we are saying this is same as four over three, uh, multiply by multiply by eight squared. This is multiply also by what? Multiply by your pi. This is going to be given, uh, by two eight, which is same as what? Uh, this is same as two eight. Then when you multiply this, uh, then this is going to be that particular answer of ours. Yes, I think this is going to be correct. Now, let's see in terms of what else now are we going to have here? Now, uh, if we are continuing from here, uh, then this is same as this is given in millimeter what? In millimeter cubed. Yes, this is given in millimeter cubed. And now they say, uh, now if the radius of the ball is doubled, right? The ratio of the new volume, uh, which is going to be the original of the volume, right? Now, Obviously, they say if what uh, if the original is doubled. Now, if the radius uh, of the original is doubled. Now, what is going to be the new volume? Ah, uh, so now let's start here. Uh, what was firstly the first thing? Uh, remember they say what was the first radius that we were given there? Ah, uh, it was what? Uh, it was going to be eight, right? And so, which means now, if we are looking at that, uh, if let's say you are having. For example, uh, then if, let's say, the original. Uh, now, let's say if the original, uh, it was given by what? If, let's say, the original is given by what? And then what is going to be the new? The new is going to be given by what? Obviously, it's going to be given by two. Isn't it so? So, and now if you are doubling that, if you are doubling that, remember, this is same as one squared. Uh, or rather, this is going to be one cubed. Remember, for volume is cubed. And this one is going to be same as what? This is going to be three cubed, right? So this is going to be what? This is going to be the new. This is going to be the original. So this is going to be now one is to eight, right? In terms of its ratio, if the radius of the ball is doubled, right? So that is going to be what? That is going to be eight. So the ratio is going to be same as one is to eight, 
one is to eight. Are we together? Hopefully this makes sense to you. Then now they say, uh, you would like uh, this bowl to be uh, silver plated uh, to a thickness of one millimeters, right? What is the volume of the silver required? Give uh, your answer right into two decimal plates. So now let's see. So what do they, what do we want basically here? They say, uh, they say uh, to be plated with the thickness of what? Of one millimeters, right? So now what is it that you are going to do now from here? Uh, we are going to say now the volume of it. Remember this one. It was eight, isn't it so? Uh, that is going to be eight. They say you'd like this ball to be silver plated to a thickness of what? Of one millimeters. So which means what are you going to do? Are you... Uh, are you adding from these eight millimeters? Yes, obviously that's what you are you are doing. So this is going to be if the original consists of eight, which is going to be what which is going to be the metal. This is going to be eight now plus one millimeter for the what the one millimeter is for the silver color now, right? So this is going to give you what this is going to give you a total of nine, right? So this is going to give you nine millimeters, right? Then when you are doing your volume, then this one, your volume again okay, is going to be given by what? Obviously, it's same as four over three multiplied by what? Multiply by a uh, pi multiplied by what? Multiply by r cubed. And when you are doing that, this is same as four over three multiplied by pi. Then this is going to multiply by nine now, nine cubed. And what is going to be the volume of this uh, particular thing now? So this is going to be same as what? Uh, this is going to be same as uh, your three. So this is going to be three, uh, what? 3,053.66 millimeter, what? Millimeter cubed, isn't it so? So that is going to be the new one, right? So we are saying the one with the silver now, uh, it's going to be that. So if you are subtracting now from the original to find out what is going to be the volume of the silver that is occupied. So this one is going to be now the volume that consists also of what? Of the silver plating, right? And now you only had what? You only had these as what? As only the metal, right? So what is going to be then uh, the one that only consists of silver, which is the volume. So this is going to be three, uh, 3053.66, which is 3000 and 53.66 uh, what millimeter cube subtract the one that had only the metal which was 2144.62 right so millimeter cubed and then therefore which means the final answer that you're going to find now the silver plating that you're going to find here it's going to be same as one uh zero uh, one zero eight what millimeter what millimeter cubed are we together so basically that is going to be the final answer that you are going to be finding in here right hopefully this uh makes sense to you now and you understand all of this and uh this is as far as our concept is concerned thank you very much